there are many challenges in treating ITP. In treating ITP in children, one of the major challenges is knowing which child is going to have serious bleeding and which child is not. Because it's not always clear that children with even very low platelet counts will have any serious bleeding. So there's a bit of a dilemma in deciding which child actually needs treatment. Another challenge in treating ITP is balancing the good and bad of drug therapy. As we know, all medicines have one or more side effects, and if the side effects outweigh the benefits of the medicine, then it becomes a challenge as to whether we should use that medicine or not. We know prednisone, for example, has a long list of side effects that uh, really bother many patients that take uh, this drug for a long period of time. So we have to use that medicine very, very cautiously and very judiciously. The same is true for immune globulin therapies like IVIG or Winro. Some of the side effects uh, in some patients may outweigh the benefits. So it's always a challenge to balance the good and the bad of, of drug therapy for ITP. When I first diagnose someone with ITP or I see someone who's been referred to me who's had, had the diagnosis of ITP made, one of the first things I tell them is it's very important to work with their physician in managing their disorder. Because this tends to be a chronic disorder in most patients, it means that somehow it's going to affect their lifestyle. And they need to be aware of all the things that may change in their life. We try very hard to get most patients into remission and so that they can walk away and hopefully forget to ever send me a Christmas card. But unfortunately, a lot of patients I, I know who come to me are going to become lifelong or long-time friends and patients. And so we need to work both with them and their families on how their life is going to be altered and what is the best treatment for them. Frequently, patients come to me and their major complaint is that they feel that physicians are not listening to them about their symptoms or about the fact that certain treatments don't work for them. And I think it's extremely important that a patient feels very comfortable with their physician and they feel listened to because this is a chronic disorder and because this is going to be a lifelong or long-term relationship that they're going to have to form with their treating physician. And so there needs to be comfort and there needs to be a lot of understanding in order when you choose your physician that's going to work with you.